Hanks Alexander. He was born in 1864 and died in 1894. John Hanks Alexander was a second African American graduate of the United States at West Point, following Henry Clifford. John was born on January 6, 1864, and was the son of James Mallow Alexander and Fannie Mae, both of whom were born as slaves. They were supported and protected by a permanent white family in uh, Helena County Phillips, which was in Arkansas. Alexander's father prospered as a barber, and barber, been a barber back in the day was a very respectable job, very respectable, even today. Uh, he dealt in taller trees, he acquired property. Again, to be a slave or a black person, period, you could not own property. Parents were determined that their seven children would uh, be educated. And through all of these individuals that we talk about, these heroes, all of them started out by getting educated, either from their families or being self-educated. And that's very important then and really important now. In 1879, Alexander graduated from high school in Helena at the head of his class. And shortly thereafter, he taught uh, for a term in Carrollton, Mississippi. In the spring of 1880, in the fall, he traveled to Ohio to visit an uncle. He's a well-known citizen in Cincinnati. In Ohio, I said Oklahoma, but Ohio also had the only college uh, that would allow blacks to be students. So he actually was a student at, at, at Oberlin College, and at the end of the second year of college, he successfully passed all the examination to be administered of a gain admission run to West Point. He received a diploma in the academy for the, uh, by a, a congressman, and that's usually how you get in there. A, a congressman or a senator would actually have to recommend you. So he was known that well in that area for an elected official to recommend him to be a cadet at West Point. And during his four years at West Point, Alexander was popular with the court and escaped some of the mistreatment experienced by previous black cadets. In the past, if you and there were these two that we talked about were two that graduated. There were several other cadets in there, and they were mustered out for some reason or the other. Either they couldn't take the harassment, they couldn't take the mistreatment or they just left. We even read the story about one cadet that was actually committed suicide by stabbing himself in the back. Now during the four years at West Point, Alexander was popular with the court. I said that he was a skilled boxer. He was an apt student who excelled in languages and mathematics. Uh, by the time he graduated in 1887, he ranked 32nd in the class that had increased in size from 122 to 64 million. An academy official described Alexander as a splendid scholar who had achieved invaluable success.